Hey everyone, Waterbot here, and welcome to Deck of Ashes. It's a deck builder, kind of, sort of, roguelike? I think I think it's like part roguelike, part not. I I will admit, I've I only kind of barely looked at the game, and I was like, yeah, this looks cool. Actually, no, it, it looks... Ah, shit, that is loud. Uh, why is everything so loud with this game? Blasting my ears off of even getting here. So it, it doesn't actually look like it's a roguelike at all. Oh no, permadeath. Unless you use the help of dark magic, then when you die, you die for good. Why is this not tagged as a roguelike then? Anyway, let's get going. Uh, let's see, prologue, campaign, or epilogue? I, let's do the tutorial. Might as well do the tutorial. I love the art style. On the day the curse befell our miserable world, a vision came to me. I know how we can be saved, and I know who will help me do it. Oh, I actually have to hit continue here. That's annoying. One of the fools who made us descend deeper and deeper into this abyss of suffering with each passing day. On that day, I died and rose from the ashes. However, the rebirth cost me dearly. I feel immense pain coursing through my veins, as if I'm still burning on that fire. He gave me hope when he promised to rid me of this suffering. I will be meeting with him today. In return, he asked me to lift the ash curse. Well, I don't have much of a choice. You're getting close, child of fire, I can sense. Your presence is not far, it's not safe here, so be careful. Click here to move to the next tile. Wow, this is very Slay the Spire almost immediately. There are lots of monsters roaming the area. You'll have to fight your way through. Start of battle. Yeesh. This is your character if you're health points are reduced to zero you'll have to restart from scratch this is your opponent to destroy the monster reduce its hp to zero start of each turn your opponent will prepare a card for the next turn move the mouse over to examine the effect At the start of your turn keep drawing cards from your battle deck until you have a full hand a full hand consists of six cards you cannot have more than 10 cards in your hand battle deck playing cards cost mana you have five mana points to use each round to play a card drag it out of your hand and onto the monster so we got fireball spark you do not need Ash to craft this card. Okay, that's interesting worrying. Played cards are burnt and stored in your deck of ashes. They cannot be used again. Uh-oh. I'm curious how that works exactly. Uh, well, no, oh, we're really short on time, Lucia. Take care of the creatures as soon as you can. Fireball. Spark. Lots of sparks. Not enough mana points. Whoops. The UI on the cards is very small for the mana counter. Okay, Ash Pact. There will be no more cards in your battle deck soon. If you cannot draw more cards for a full hand, Ash Pact is added to your hand. It allows you to renew cards in the deck of ashes at the cost of your HP. Oh! Well, that's rough. Well, I guess I gotta do that. Excellent. Now you have enough cards in your battle deck to finish off your opponent. I can only imagine now I'm gonna be running out of HP left and right here. That's gonna be rough. Well, we'll hit him with the spark. Save the fireball for the next one. Okay, so we get some of that resource. Catch your breath after battle and be on your way again. You're wounded. After every battle, you set up a tent. This earns you rest points, which you can spend to heal up. These are rest points. Spend your rest points to restore your health. Okay. Oh, renew cards. It won't let me renew any cards, so I guess we'll just have to... I don't know. We're almost there. Keep moving. We finally meet. Come closer so I can restore your strength. There aren't any cards left in your battle deck. Talk to the Ashmaster so you can renew them. 
I'm going to perform a revitalizing rite. You will soon be able to do something similar soon. Ashmaster will renew all of your cards. Cards have been renewed. You can now use them during battle. I know there are a lot of questions you you want to ask me, but it's not safe here. We should leave. There are people waiting nearby. They'll aid us on our journey. I will teach you how to perform this rite. Card renewing rite is unlocked. Leave camp to set off on a journey. You should not have trespassed on my land, blah, blah, blah. Curses, we have dis disturbed the ruler of these lands. We don't have much time. It's already searching for us. Meter shows how much time you have left before you engage in battle with the ruler of the region. I know a shortcut we can take. Let's go. Move here next tile. No. I, uh, I want a good mystery machine ruler is looking for. I, I'm aware that is how this works, I guess. And never mind. We are going this way. You should not have trespassed on my land. I will crush you. Curse is it's getting angry and has blocked our path. We'll have to take a detour. Ruler is approaching. Region, uh, as the ruler of the region is approaching, it'll destroy parts of the map, making navigation more difficult. Gotcha. Event. Pain coursed through my body. I returned to the very moment, the day that the goddamn fool Magnus raised the cur released the curse. I became the target of a manhunt. Eventually, I was caught and burnt at the stake by those com country bumpkins. The moronic expressions on their pans when they saw me rise from the ashes were absolutely priceless. The memory helped me regain my strength. I'm ready to fight. Crit chance is increased by 20%. Okay, so events can have positive and negative effects. Does the effects that have applied to you move over? Yeah, got it. Pain is a source of power. It's good to be useful to us in the future. Blah, 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 blah. Onwards, further onwards. So it's just like empty s slots. Another enemy up ahead, show what you got. Interesting. Why blank spaces? I guess it'll matter more once we get further in the game. Okay, crit chances increase. All right, so that one's down. The dialogue is in my way, thank you. We good? Uh, enter. There we go. Ow! Oh! Dang! Monsters landed a crit on you. Use this card to restore your health points. If you don't, there's a chance you might die. All right, we just have a healing potion. The monsters have passive abilities. Learn them to refine your attacks. Strength increases by the amount of damage dealt by strike cards. Oh! So if I hit him with that, no, he does base 11. Well, he's just gonna hit me like trucks. I don't really have much of a choice on this one, but that's okay. Oh wait, no, that was not his heavy hit. What? Oh, I see. When a character restores health points, it increases its strength by one. So I was reading that entirely wrong. Okay, it's time to put your newly acquired skill to use. You can now renew cards. Rest points. Oh, I see. I mean, that'll put me at 99. That's not bad. Found a recipe for you. Take it. I'm sure it'll come in handy someday soon. Recipe inventory. Uh, essentially card blueprints. You'll learn how to craft cards with these later. Should not have trespassed on my land. Blah 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 blah. There are lots of undead creatures up ahead. We're going to need more powerful deck. You no know, place where we can get some cards. I find this tutorial kind of constraining. Okay, scroll of supremacy. Ash, at the end of your turn, deal three damage to the low enemy, the opponent with the lowest HP. Non-playable. Oh, interesting. So as long as it's in your deck, you get a bonus. We've gathered all the necessary recipes. Let's return for now. It's a recipe inventory. Move to the next tile. Ambush, sort of battle. We have a lesser skeleton. Hello, lesser skeleton. I have really boring attacks. You must die. I like where they're going with it. I just hope that uh, there's a lot of interesting cards along the way. 
Also, the UI is very slow, which really isn't like that immediate of a problem. Let's see. Let's actually use the healing potion because we can renew that on the next uh, while well, camping. Okay, excellent. It's time you learn another right. You can spend rest points at a tent to craft cards. These are recipes. This is Ash. You needed to craft. Okay, got it. Deal 12 damage to opponent. Discard a card of choice from your hand. No, we want to grab the Scroll of Supremacy. Craft cards using... Wants me to craft both. You become strong. It's time to... It's time you go and defeat the monsters and blocking your path. Gotcha. Oh. Gotta renew Fireball. Actually, we can renew everything. Because that healing potion... Gave us everything back. Not know I burnt as many cards as I did. Okay, every time you move to a tile with a question mark, there's a chance an event or an ambush may occur. Be careful. <sighs> so much repetition on the dialogue here. Alright, so we're fighting a group of enemies. Oh, so we are. This is going to hurt. Some cards produce great effects when played together. Play powerful combos and obliterate your enemies. There are two special words. Okay, Ash non-playable. Mouse over them to see what it means. Okay, so we want to... Kill the Stitched. Throw away the Scroll of Supremacy. Because that way the Scroll of Supremacy... Oh. Well, you have an Ash card in your deck of Ashes. You gain its bonus effects. I see. Three damage to the opponents with the lowest health at the end of your turn. So, in that case... Let's probably hit the sti the more powerful Stitched. This one's gonna die. Yeah. Okay. So, I could do another Fireball to this guy. He's about to hit me for 10. We'll heal on the next round. Because we'll be killing him on the next round. Not that it matters too much, but still. Okay. So we heal up. Fireball him. And just spark him twice. And he's dead. Okay, and I've got 10 cards in my deck of ashes. Which means we pretty much spend... Okay, I don't want to play the Scroll of Supremacy. I want to leave that there. Because if it's always there, if we're lucky, we'll just get the effect. Are you daft? I don't want to... God. The game's... The tutorial's actually working against me. Okay. Well, rulers caught up. Onward. The people will help you prepare for the battle. What? Okay, we're going to camp. I hate really constrictive tutorials. Hi, Parasite. At the start of battle, this card is placed at the top of your deck. That's... You are not an appreciable thing. And I can't play the Parasites. Do they just... Okay. Return three cards to the bottom of your battle deck. Okay, let's get rid of them. Oh, it can heal itself? That's dirty. Okay, so... Yeah, fireball, sparks... Can't really do much about this. I don't need to return any cards. Get out of here? Okay, cindering ring. Burn that. I'm pretty sure you can actually just leave the, uh... The Scroll of Supremacy in your deck of ashes forever and just do extra damage. I don't care. I feel like that should be something that you actually drag it over as, like, a manual thing as opposed to the end of every round. It's like, hey, by the way, you can do this thing. And it's like, I don't really want it. It's like, but you can do this thing. And you're like, no... 
can you hit him? Okay, do we hoard the potion? I'm gonna put that back, even though it does nothing for me. Okay, so ash packs. Well, it gets me all of my sparks back. Holy shit, that is useless. And let's heal. I guess I'll get rid of those, even though I don't know. I feel like the Scroll of Supremacy might have a timed effect. Nope, no timed effect. Just as long as it's in the Deck of Ashes, it takes effect. Frustratingly, that means uh, when it forced me to renew that card, I took it out of my deck of ashes, and it's like, why is it there? Like, why am I putting that in my hand? I, maybe, I guess, so I could just discard it, but like, eh. Oh, good, we got our deck of ashes back. Well, I can't, I can't do anything else. Oh, I should have actually put these on the bottom now that I'm thinking about it. Whatever, he dies soon? Burn that. Hit him with a fireball. Yeah, we're good. It's a misplay. How could he? Things couldn't have taken a better turn. It is time for me to go and put my plan into action. What? That... That's not at all the dialogue. Alright, so let's go to settings. Uh, let's turn that down a little bit. Okay, let's actually play around. There's also an epilogue, but I guess I gotta beat the game first. Huh. Unlock the epilogue, complete the game for each playable character. More coming soon. Well, we have her. So, Lucy of the Eternal Flame burned alive for the... For the outcast, act accidentally releasing the ash curse on the world. Lucy arose like a legendary phoenix, becoming one with the flame, but eternally tormented by it. Lucy, as the pyromancer, seeks to regain her peace, and will scorch anything in it, anyone that stands in her way. Onwards! Difficulty, adventurer, wanderer, raider, martyr. You have normal health if killed in battle. You have to restart from the beginning. You can perform a resurrection rite in the camp to avoid death. Raider... Health is increased. Or Wanderer. If killed, you resurrect at the camp. Eh! Let's play Wanderer. Since the dawn of time, people with a magical gift had a target on their backs. We instill fear, and fear breeds malice. I learned to conceal my talent the hard way. I trusted my fiancé and revealed my secret. And that same day, I was laying in the mud, surrounded by a mob of bloodthirsty loons. Rusty pitchforks and blazing torches pointed at my face. That day, I killed for the first time. I managed to escape and join the outcasts, a gang of hardened pariahs like myself. Wherever our righteous anger took us, we settled the scores in blood. When we broke that damn box and released the Ash Curse, the simple folk blamed the mages. The witch hunt ensued, and a week hadn't passed before I ended up at the stake. I was burned to the cheerful cries of peasants, but those turned into screams of terror as I suddenly rose from the ashes. The curse gave me power. It made me one with the flames, the flames of retribution that swallowed my offenders. The curse gave me power, but it played a twisted joke on me. The pain I suffered at that stake, it stayed and defiles every moment since my rebirth. The prophet, he found me on his own. He assures that Lady Death can rid me of pain. If this is true, I will make her do that. He asks me to kill Lady Death, and he says that it will break the curse. This world, it's full of scoundrels, and I'd enjoy watching their torment. But if regaining my peace means ridding them from the curse as well, screw it. Let it be so.
We've arrived. The Forbidden Grove. We'll have to stop here and pitch camp. The curse defiled these once sacred woods with hideous mutations. There is a lurking danger behind every tree here. A werebor, a giant rat, or any other beastly abomination. The ancestor is the ruler of these lands. The father and the king of all beasts. The curse changed him. And I suspect not for the better. He's picked up our scent, and he won't let us pass. We have but a couple of days before he tracks down our camp. You must prepare to fight him. The ruler of these lands won't let us pass, and he will find us soon. We must fight him. There are a couple of days to prepare for his arrival. Search the area for supplies and recipes. Put them to good use. We need all the help we can get. Here are some recipes to get you started. Talk to the blacksmith if you want to craft cards from him. From them. Getting started. At the start of the chapter, your character is quite weak. You may strengthen your character and prepare for the fight for the ruler by finding card recipes and crafting cards from them. Increasing your character's stats. Exploring the region, finding resources, and spending them to buy resources in camp. Or upgrades in camp. As you venture further from the camp, you're going to find more resources and rare recipes, but the monsters you face will also be much deadlier. Unoccupied areas contain resources you can extract. Goblets, herbs, relics, and ore. Extracting resources from a tile depletes it. Extracting resources takes one in-game hour. Extracting resources from a tile depletes it forever. Areas. Many actions uh, take an in-game hour. New day begins every 24 hours. At the start of each new day, all characters in camp restock their purchased goods. Portals. You can travel instantly between portals. To do this, you need to activate at least two portals. In the upper right corner, there's a travel stone button. Travel stone allows you to travel instantly to camp. It has a cooldown of 20 hours, so I can do it once a day, effectively. Effects. Character's health is next to the portrait. Underneath are icons applied to you. On the right, you can see all the resources you have. Unlike resources, you can extract relics, herbs, or goblets. Keys, gold, and ash are awarded for victories in battle. Chests. Chests contain card recipes. You may choose one of several options and some gold. You need keys to open the chest. The more keys needed to open a chest, the rarer the recipe you'll need to find, uh, you will find inside. Keys are rewarded from battles, uh, victories in battle. The harder the battle, the more keys you can get. Okay. Well, I have, like, no next to nothing. I guess I can buy, like, a thing or two. Choose an effect, draw a rare card, or an epic card. When any card is discarded, restore 3 HP points. So, Scroll of Energy and Scroll of Incineration would work really well for a discard deck. Strain. No thank you. I don't know if I really want any of these. Oh, trade resources or upgrades. Amount of rest points in the tent by one. Amount of recipes you can sell from six to 12. Sell your resources for gold. Okay. What about this guy? So, we can make ignition, copy all the burns on the target, and apply them on other apart opponents. Discard all the cards in your hand. Oh, deal five damage for to an opponent for every card you've discarded. Increase this, your strength by one for every burn on you. Deal four damage. Copy all the burns. No. Dismantle the cards. Traits. And upgrades. Use the travel stone. Decreases travel stone by five hours. Travel to portals via the travel stone. Let's see. Allows you to craft cards. Reduces the number of keys required to unlock chests. Allows you to buy traits. Dismantle your cards. Okay. Well, I'm going to craft Lesser Sacrifice. Let's go back here, and I'm going to grab Scroll of Incineration. Oh, but that's a blueprint. Alright, whatever. For next time. What do you have? Increase your stats and cure ailments. Stat items. So, crit, max HP, dodge, speed, strength. Interesting. How do I leave? Leave camp. Okay. 
So, I think I'm just going to start fight mongering. Which direction do I go? There's a portal over here. Let's go this way. Apply regeneration yourself. Apply burn on an opponent. Where were these interesting cards earlier? So, burn. Two damage on them. Effect lasts for five turns. Let's do a fireball. And a burn. End of the turn. Towards four. Okay, so we, we don't want to do any more. Because he's about to boost his strength anyway. Oh, I probably should have actually exiled some of these things. Okay. So I can do 30 to him. He's about to hit me. Let's end turn and put the fireballs on bottom. I was hoping I could get a spark. Oh, wait, no, no. He just took fire damage because we can use... uh. Is in torch five damage to an opponent. No, I could just do that and it'll hurt him a bunch. Okay, so we want to renew renew cards. I don't have that many camp camp things. Okay. Let's not do more than that then. And I get nothing. We get an event! I raced along a hallway of an abandoned camp uh, campel, castle. Damn these ghosts. They attacked suddenly in a horde. I've got to run. There's nowhere to go. I gripped the stone in my fist. It's my last hope. It doesn't work. It isn't working, but I know what to do. The ghosts have almost caught up to me. I can hear them wailing. It's getting cold. So cold. Just a little more. Then I'll be able to teleport. I just need to let them get a little bit closer. The stone will absorb their energy and allow me to jump to the camp. Just a little more. My eyes narrow to slits. Their distorted faces. The smell of rot. Their venomous laughter as they say for the anticipation of my death. I hold on with the last of my strength. If I try and teleport too soon, I'm dead. I can't endure their gaze any longer. There, now, I jump. For some reason, I don't appear in the camp. But I'm far from the old castle. It worked. Gravelstone malfunctioned, and you ended up somewhere else. I'm over here now. Crit chances decreased by 1% for three battles. Map shows a village here. I'm standing in the middle of a swamp. I can see drooping crosses far in the distance, and I'm surrounded by the shattered remnants of long-abandoned wooden dwellings ground by the thick swampy mire. There used to be a village here, but it's now vanished from the face of the earth. It has passed away, leaving only rotting walls behind. What I needed was people. Now I'll have to keep dragging myself from one uninhabited place, swarming with dangerous beasts to the next. I didn't even manage to get my hands on a pair of good sturdy boots. Mine are already in tatters. Battle! Okay, Blazing Torch. Five damage to an opponent. Really? Oh, Phoenix. Phoenix doesn't run out. Okay, let's do Torch. Or Fireball and that. Put the Fireballs away at the very least. Unknown Spit. Flies Poison. Ow. And kind of ow. Can't do that. Why not? Oh. It's stealthed. Well, dang it. Well, I can do nothing. Return the fireballs again, I guess. Not much else I can do. It's very slow. Is there... No, there's no, like, speed mode. It's just a lot of waiting for, like, the cards to slowly move down. The dialogue going directly over the end turn button. So I have to, like, wait for it to go away so I can end my turn. It's not necessarily bad. It's just slow. We'll just end turn again. 
Uh, let's see, we don't want to do that. You can do without the self-harm mechanic. No one wants to have to think about hitting themselves. I think it's an interesting means of balance, and I think it might only be to some degree for this character. I think each character has a different style. Uh, Blammo. I can't do this. Of course you can't do this. I guess we just wait for a little while. Well, the poison hurts a little bit. Uh, I'm just going to do lesser sacrifice. Oh. Oh, I crit him. Well, that works out. Uh, let's see. So I could craft something, but no, I've got to renew cards. I actually have a decent amount of... Yeah, I'm just going to keep renewing cards, because that kind of hurts. We get nothing. You should not have trespassed here. Blah, blah, blah. Do I have any keys? I don't have any keys yet. Let's head for the portal. Portal's been activated. Ash Storm. Ash Storm has created anomalies. Quickly, draw on their power before they disappear. Okay. So apply bleed, draw a strike card. Deal three damage to all opponents, three additional additional three damage for each strain card played this turn. Ash Chalice. Disappears in three turns. Disappears in three turns. I like Tome of Lust. Not of trust on my land. I will find you and crush you. Congrats. Okay, let's try this again. Ambush, start of a battle. There we go. Ooh, there's two of them too. Now we gotta go for the skeleton first. Summons a lower skeleton with it with five HP. But yeah, whenever I heal. Both suck. But yeah, this guy gets harder harder the more or the longer I go. Uh Let's do Fireball and Blazing Torch. Because the faster I kill that guy, kind of the better. Let's return the Healing Balm and one of the Fireballs. Because I can only use one Fireball per turn. Not that I have a whole lot of cards in my deck to begin with. Okay, so let's do Fireball and Blazing Torch. Summons the Lesser Skeleton. I can do nothing else, but that's fine. Let's get rid of the Fireball. Go after the Stitch on the next turn. Owie. Yeah, I get the Torch back. Blazing Torch. Healing Balm, and then Liquid Fire. Probably should have actually done Liquid Fire on him a while back. But whatever. I'm probably also going to want to sit down and heal and stuff. At some point. I wonder if I can actually uh, double stack. Nah. I w uh, maybe I should have. I wonder if I can actually stack extra burns or regen on myself. Because that would almost be worth... No, no. He does too much damage. Well, let's stack burn. Does it do four damage or does it last longer? Oh, they're just separate things entirely. Okay. That's cool. I'm probably just going to go for the kill here. Because as much as I'd like to regen more, it's probably better that I just kill him. Okay. So, let's grab Tome of Lust. I mean, all of these would be good. I don't have a whole lot of resources. Is 
But yeah, we'll make Tome of Lust. Then heal a bit. Probably should have maybe healed more, but whatever. 